You know, they make driving and Southland traffic a little less exhausting for commuters, but are partially automated systems and vehicles like lane assist safe? Well, on your science, Christine Lazar joins us now with new research that shows that these systems can actually be misused? Yeah, I mean, they make it easier to drive, but people often are not paying attention when mm. they enable them. And these systems are now in pretty much every car. It used to just be the luxury ones. Now you're seeing it even in the base models. And the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety looked at 14 vehicles with partial driving automation systems. And out of those 14 systems tested, only one automaker earned an acceptable rating. Two were rated marginal and 11 were really related rated poor. The IIHS looked at systems like lane assist, adaptive cruise control, and brake assist, where the car stops if it senses a collision with another car or person. It's important to note these are not self-driving features. They are more advanced driving assistance systems that still require the driver to be in control. But IIHS found that these systems are not doing a good job of monitoring the driver to make sure they're paying attention. Many don't have cameras in the cabin. Others don't require the driver to have their seatbelt on to use these systems. And IIHS found that vehicle assist features often allow drivers to take their focus off the road. And we found that from research that drivers who use these systems, they tend to drive faster. They tend to look away from the road more frequently and for longer periods of time. And they tend to engage in more distracting behaviors like using their cell phone. So it's really critical that you monitor through a camera, you monitor where they are looking and where their hands are. IIHS researchers looked at partial automation systems in BMW, Ford, GM, Lexus, Mercedes, Nissan, Tesla, and Volvo. Only the system in the Lexus ES earned an acceptable rating. The GMC Sierra and the Nissan Ariya earned marginal ratings, and the rest of the vehicles they looked at received poor ratings. No automakers got a good rating. Currently, the Department of Transportation doesn't have any regulations or any consistent guidance for the auto industry as to how they should design these vehicles or how they're integrated into a vehicle. So IIHS is urging automakers to look at these results and better design the systems to keep us all safe. And then the other component of this is now that we as the driver know this, it's on us to really continue to be just as alert yes. when we're driving as if we weren't using them. They're only meant to help you not take over. Exactly. All right. Great advice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Christine. Appreciate that. All right, let's